Good morning on this, uh, well, fairly sunny Wednesday. Um, <coughs> I'm expecting the micronutrients uh, coming in today. So, I will be pre preparing feed for these tomorrow. But I'm going to show you what I picked for the mononutrient experiment. Yes, uh, ooh, let me get this one out of the way first. Um, these are obviously no latex, or well, obviously. Uh, these are freshly removed from a very, very sad big one. And it cracked all the canes. Um, these are getting sprayed and watered, or were getting sprayed and watered every time. So they are somewhat trained. But as you can see, that this one oh, only has a few roots. This one has big root system. They will be mounted and if anyone wants a dendrobium nobile mounted please leave a comment. Only mainland Europe, I'm sorry. Oh. These will be getting the vendor treatment. There we go. That's just fresh water. The Vanda, ooh, that's true. I wanted to include the Vanda in the experiment. Well, another time. Um, I will be feeding the rest the same, but this is the set I picked to keep a close eye. Okay, here we go. This is the Capistania tolimensis. And, well, you see it has a bud, but it is, no, it is no bueno. Although the roots are growing, I have no idea what's wrong with it, other than that it comes from the S place, no, the C place, sorry, S place is in Germany. <coughs> So let's see if we can crank it up a little bit. I'm afraid this one is, well, beyond saving, but... Phalaenopsis mm. uh, sedibensis. And again, it, yeah, it doesn't do very much. It grows, it has beautiful root tips. It attaches to the board but it's growing really, really slow, too slow. I know that these can be slow, but no, it's too slow. Neophenicia falcata. Yes, it's a Neophenicia. And it is the Gojo Fukurin. It just started with a root and <clears throat> it did many times and that's it. Uh, Arangus Mr. City Eye. It's my only one left. I had two. And yeah. What more can we say? Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, these are the mounted ones. Um, this is uh, all monopodial. Meaning that it, uh, they don't have a storage organ or a, uh, a rhizome. These have. This is Sympodial. And it has storage organs. So, just to be honest and unbiased, we're going to take them all. Um, this is uh, Dendrobium berryoda. 
and it made a new growth, aborted one. It's well, pretty healthy on the root department, but it could do better. I have another one that's performing way, way better. So <clears throat> here is another sympodial with storage organs. This is um, a young jungle monarch odontoglossum jungle monarch and well it has a healthy growth the roots are doing fine and I'm just including this one because of this storage organs um, another one with storage organs there we go it's a bit wobbly in the pot but it's uh, one of my nobiles, not performing really, really well. Uh, it skipped the blooming. It made this growth, which is still growing. Um, it made a keiki, which I'm going to detach today. But it hasn't made any roots. Could be a, a multitude of reasons, but we're not going to think about that. Um, okay, now we're going to the potted ones. Um, let me say this one. Um, I'm going to repot them all. And I'm not going to do that for your viewing pleasure because, well, it has to be fast and furious because I hate it. I also hate the movies. A franchise of nine movies about cars and family, of course. Uh, no. <clears throat> Phragmopedium, probably a Piercei. Yes, it has a uh, name, Petite Arquette. But according to my Floridian sources, it is not. It's horrible, really. That's an upset. Yeah. Um, Plurothalis ruskifolia. It is full of new growth, but it's behind on uh, root growth. Yeah. So we're going to include this one. Um, a garden variety Phalaenopsis <clears throat> is performing pretty decent <laughs> for being in my care. Yeah, I've killed at least 50 of these. I'm a serial phalaenopsis killer. Um, yeah. Just put it in for good measure. Um, a potted uh, sympodium. This is um, a sotto anum. Little piece. Growing reasonably well, except for here. It's one black mass. Yeah, they had water yesterday. And one of my Paphiopedalums, again, very, very slow on the root department. The fans are growing, but it could use a little bit of help. So, um, I'm going to mark them all. I'm not sure how, I think I'm going to put a pin in it and then see what happens. Okay, um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, check TDSs. Um, I'm going to keep the instructions on the bottle, which has 10 milliliters, and that's for nitrogen, 10 milliliters for 10 liters of water. Yeah, so I'm gonna fiddle around with that for a little bit and see uh, how high the TDS is for 10 milliliters. And then uh, bump it up or take it down accordingly. Same with the, the phosphorus. And I believe that the phosphorus is given uh, to stimulate flowering or at least give more energy for flowering. 
could be wrong. Um, yeah, uh, same with the micronutrients, which will come today. And if I have them all three, then I'm going to do the TDS video. I'm feeding right after that. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, just a little recap. Capistania, Phalaenopsis, Neophenicia, Arangus, Dendrobium, Odontoglossum, another Dendrobium, Paphiopedalum, uh, Oncidium, Phalaenopsis, Pleurothalis, Phragmopedium, and those don't come to play. Okay guys, later. Okay, a little bit on the end. Um, I said I'm going to feed the rest the same, but that wouldn't be fair, so I'm not going to. And I'm going to put these all back in the same spot, just to make sure that it's not the light or blah, blah, blah. I think that's, uh, that's the way to do it. Yes. Um, shall we end on some color? Mm, on some color to come? Yeah. Oh. We have, of course, the beautiful Brussels stelling. It's a stunning bloom. Yes, really. And look at this. The second growth is starting and there probably will be one here as well. That won't get the same, so same as with my Marfish Coral. Beautiful new spike. Um, yeah. We're going to land on this color. Later.